Well, the thin line between planning a school massacre and attempting it has a teenage suspect on the verge of walking free in Vermont. Correspondent Jim Axelrod says the community is on edge. At Vermont's Fairhaven Union High School, attendance has been down as much as 25% in the last two months. Fear will do that. He threatened to kill a lot of people in our school. Cameron Rodrigue and Eliza Bird are seniors. The fact that he could get out is kind of like a kick in the gut to us. He is Jack Sawyer. The way that I see it is just like as quickly as I can pull the trigger is how many casualties. A former student here who carefully detailed his plan to shoot up the school in this journal of an active shooter listing who he wanted to kill, like the school resource officer Scott Alkenberg. I'm intending to just blow his head off before he can even draw his gun or think about what's happening. I'm patient. Like, I, I can wait. Right. It might be like 10 years, but I can right. wait. I was just thinking about, like, look, there's lives at hand, and this needs to be dealt with. The plot was foiled when Angela McDevitt, a 17 year old acquaintance of Jack's, was texting with him on the day of the Parkland shooting. Angela thought a mutual friend of theirs might have been a student at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. So then I went to Jack and I was like, hey, this girl who we both know, school just got shot up. And what did he say to you? That's fantastic. I 100% support it. What school was it? Angela told the police officer at her school, who quickly called the Vermont State Police. Prosecutors charged Sawyer with attempted murder and aggravated assault. But they weren't expecting a 112 year old law to get in the way. Bail in the amount of $10,000. In Vermont, planning isn't attempting. And last week, hard as it may be to believe, prosecutors were forced to drop the felony charges against Sawyer after the Supreme Court ruled there was no attempt since the act had not been committed. Bill Humphreys has been the chief of police in Fairhaven for 14 years. When you look at telling the detectives you're just delaying by law enforcement interactions, I understand their ruling. I don't agree with it, but I mean, those are the kind of laws we have to live with right now. If Jack can make the reduced bail, he must seek mental health treatment, but he will get out of jail. But I can't take away the feeling of not feeling safe. Leaving Principal Jason Rasco to deal with panicked students and parents and anxious faculty. No school in America lives without fear these days. But the threat at Fairhaven Union High seems a little bit scarier, a little more real. We have a new normal now uh, because of things that we didn't do. We're the victims, and that doesn't feel right. That was Jim Axelrod reporting. Vermont has passed a new red flag law in the wake of all this, meaning Jack Sawyer can no longer buy guns. And if this happened just a mile away over the Vermont-New York state line, it's a different story. He'd be facing felony charges.